Hello everybody. It is Saturday. It's actually pretty late on Saturday. I slept in today. Uh, but I'm in a new part of Manhattan that I've never been to before. I think I'm at the very north end of Washington Heights. Maybe Inwood. Not sure, but I'm going to that building right there. It is the Cloisters. It's part of the Met. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I get up there. Just so we're clear, I'm still in Manhattan right now. This place is gorgeous. I can't believe it's taking me so long to get here. But I'm not even to the Cloisters yet. I'm still walking up through Fort Tyron Park, which is where I'm at now. This is great, <laughs> but I wanted to share this view with you. It's the Hudson River. Check this out. Before I go in, because I'm at the entrance now, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the cloister. So it is an auxiliary museum um, that belongs to as part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, uh, and it's specifically for medieval art. And the building itself uh, is, I think, four, made up of four different European monasteries that were shipped over here in the 1930s and uh, reassembled and there was extra rooms and parts of the building that were built to mimic the same type of architecture. All the interesting trivia out of the way, let's go in and take a look at this beautiful place. I'm really excited. someone spent the time to go line by line and was able to make make a picture out of it. Something cohesive is amazing. Oh my god. I had the same reaction when I was in Russia. I was walking through those really old churches, but this is just blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm going to Europe in a month. I mentioned that many times in my blogs recently. But I'm going to Europe in a month and I'm really looking forward to seeing stuff like this again. That tomb that I was just looking at has been around since the early 1300s. And I was a foot away from it. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. I'm sorry that I haven't been talking about more stuff here and telling you about it. Um, the truth is, I don't really know that much about this stuff and I'm just enjoying it. And also, I got here pretty late. Um, so I'm sort of trying to rush through, although the place is not that large. Um, it's you're definitely able to see everything uh, and enjoy everything within you know two or three hours of walking around slowly. So I'm going to continue to do this, or I'm going to continue to explore and just enjoy. Amazing. It was really amazing. This is easily the most European place in New York City. If uh, 
you want to visit Europe and you can't at the moment, come here. <laughs> if you're from Europe and you're missing it, come here. This place is just, it's beautiful. I've never been to this part of the city, so let's go explore a little bit. By the way, if you do want to visit the cloisters uh, in your New York City, just take the A all the way north to Dykeman Street. Get off Dykeman, it's uh, about a 10, 15 minute walk from there through this beautiful park and uh, you can enjoy the cloisters. Watch out, there's a car coming. All right, what I said before about uh, taking the A train up to Dykeman, don't do that. You can do that, but I would highly recommend instead going to 190th Street and then walking through this beautiful park up to the cloisters. Much better idea. Uh, right there seems good. I would say that maybe like every third group of people is a couple. And it's easy to see why. This place is probably, not probably, this place is definitely one of the most beautiful places I've been to in New York City. So if you want, if you live in New York and you want to bring your significant other on a romantic date, this is a pretty good spot. This park, this part of the park that I'm in is definitely, I don't know what it's called, but it was definitely made for sunsets. And look at all these benches. And they're all facing out there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This park in the cloisters is definitely the most romantic place in New York City. Keep that in mind. Freshly shaven, and I got a little bit of a creepy mustache coming in. Just as a reminder, in case you didn't watch the last video, I am participating in Movember, which is a campaign to help raise awareness for men's health issues, because men are stubborn and they uh, don't like to look up those things on their own. Um, I am uh, growing out a mustache. I miss my beard. I shaved everything about a week ago, growing out a mustache for the rest of the month. I'm gonna keep this pretty clean shaven. Um, if you'd like to learn more about it, and if you'd like to donate to my campaign, even if it's just 50 cents a dollar, uh, anything, you can follow the link here on the screen. There's also a link in the description. It's mobro.co slash checkout Jacob. Uh, you can check my, you can watch my progress there. Every day I'm taking a new pic and uh, just get more information about Movember in general. All right. What am I going to do? I'm going to make some food now. This has been my go-to meal for a while now. It's just salmon peppers and onions, and tortillas, it's fish tacos. I'm going to enjoy that. But first, um, I want to mention a few things. The first thing being that uh, I have 905, approximately, subscribers right now. At this time last year, I had less than 100 subscribers. I was begging people to, to subscribe, my friends and family, so that I could have 100 subscribers. And now I am close to 10 times that. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I want to just, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, if you are subscribed, please share my videos if you enjoy them. I am going to get, I want to, and I'm going to have 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I would love that, and I think it's completely possible. I'm less than 100 people away, and that's, that's about the same number of people I had a year ago. So I'm excited about that. Please share these videos, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. It really does help. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is in less than a month, in three weeks, I will be in Europe. Again, I'm going to Copenhagen, Athens, and Berlin. So if you live in any of those cities, or if you live near there, uh, and have some advice, have some recommendations, or want to meet up, let me know in the comments below, or email me. My email, in the, or my email is in the description. You can find it there. Um, I think that would be really cool, and I'm really looking forward to going to Europe. Uh, it's going to do some really cool videos while I'm there. And I think that's pretty much it. 
Tomorrow I am going to check out Greenwood Cemetery, which is this massive cemetery in Brooklyn. And then uh, I'm going to check out an exhibit for the Low Line. Come back to check that out. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like it down below, and um, check out my other social media here. All right, that's all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Washington know about the dinner was a presidential pressure to deliver.